Hello again, my friends. This is Kunita, and I greet you warmly, warmly in the name of our risen Lord Yeshua, Almighty God. You know, today, and most especially over the last year, we've heard an awful lot and spoken an awful lot in our society about freedom, freedom and liberty. We hear these words all the time. We uh, were taught them. The meanings of them as they apply to us in school from the time we were children. In the Western world, you hear this term freedom. It's raised as a battle cry, as a rallying cry, as a political cry. Even in this country the last the last year over the election, we heard this word freedom, liberty, preached and shouted by both parties. But the truth, my friends, is that one party lies and the other party is under serious delusion. They tell us we are free. They tell us that the Constitution we have is there to guarantee our freedoms. But I'm here to tell you, my friends, the Constitution is only so much paper. It guarantees nothing without the power of politicians behind it. The freedom that we speak of, that they tell us about, is merely an illusion, my friends. True freedom comes only from the living God. But this illusion of freedom that we see and that we have felt and we hear about all the time was only granted to us for a very short time for a specific purpose. It was necessary that man be freed in order to allow his... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? His innate desire to wander out and to establish something of his own, something that he can say he has built, this strong urge in the flesh that all men share. We were given the illusion of freedom so that we could go out and build a world, conquer, conquer indigenous peoples, tribal societies, in order to in order for the imposition of the state, the greater state for the greater good of mankind, and in order to get this state in place and the industrial civilization, in order to make this state global and all-encompassing, we were given this illusion of freedom. But my friends, that all that is all it is. And this illusion of freedom will continue only as long as it's profitable to continue the illusion. At the point where the illusion becomes too expensive to maintain, those in power will just take down the scenery, push back the curtains, move the tables and chairs out of the way, and leave everything bare for all of us to see the brick wall at the back of the theater. And then we will have no doubts that it is illusion. But there is freedom, my friends. There is true freedom. There is true liberty. But my friends, it comes not at the hand of a government. It comes only from a loving Heavenly Father. To know this freedom requires knowledge of the living God and saving faith in the newness of life Within that faith in our risen in our risen Lord is the work of the Holy Spirit operating upon the heart through the Word, giving us faith by the application of the Word, raising up hope by the power of the Word, investing, investing us with the love of God by bringing the living truth of the Word with power into the soul. The word in the hands of the spirit has the edifying power of godliness, the quickening influence of wisdom, the penetrating energy of light and the driving force of the will of Almighty God. Oh, my friends, it is an irresistible power which carries into the inmost depths of the soul this special and overwhelming power 
distinguishes the work of the Spirit from all and every work of the flesh. And it is by this power, my friends, and this power alone, that we come to walk with the living truth. And through the living truth, are we at last set free? You see, my friends, we are by nature in bondage to the world and to the world's systems. But a saving knowledge of the truth will bring a freedom to you from the world and all its alluring charms, all of its vain attractions, its sensual pleasures, its cares and its anxieties. The living truth, and only the living truth, delivered by the word, empowered by the spirit, only this sets the, sets the soul free from being entangled in, overcome and overburdened, by all of these things and interests we see about us in the world. And yet because we still have to do with the world and the cares of the world, we must be daily empowered with this living truth. We must grasp this living truth. We must handle it, feel it, trust it, taste and enjoy it. If we would ever come to walk in it. But my friends, once incorporated into your life by the power of the Spirit of the living God, the truth, the truth will give you a liberty of life unknown, even unimagined by those within the world. You will not walk with the men of the world. You will not love the company of the world, nor be entangled in the schemes and the affairs of the world. Because the truth, in its living and vivid purity and power, rising within your heart, will make you free from all other power and influence. Oh, my friends, there is no liberty, no freedom, no liberty outside of the freedom which springs from the power and operations of the Holy Spirit within the heart of a lamb. Applying the word of God with power to your soul. This and this alone, my friend, gives freedom. This and this alone brings into our soul and spirit true liberty of Almighty God. And this, as opposed to a paper liberty, is a freedom you can taste and grip. It is a freedom releasing us from all the powers and principalities of this current bondage. I guess the simple way to say it is, as our Lord himself said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Good night, my friend.